Welcome to another episode of the SharePoint Toolbox. Today I want to show you a very cool PowerShell script called AutoSP Source Builder. And with this script it's possible to bundle um, SharePoint prerequisites, service packs, language packs and cumulative updates. It does work for SharePoint 2010 including service pack 1 and a lot of cumulative updates and SharePoint 2013 with cumulative update December 2012. With this script it's possible to create an offline installer for SharePoint including all prerequisites and slipstreamed updates. The script is devel developed by Brian Lalanset. He's very active in the community and creates a lot of cool PowerShell solutions. The whole thing can be downloaded from Coplex. Let's do it. It's a zip file. And we have to wait a little bit for the download. But here he goes. Download it, extract it, and I copy it to my desktop. Then open the PowerShell elevated as administrator and change the directory to the downloaded file. Let's look inside. It's a PS1 PowerShell file and an XML file. You don't have you don't have to look inside to run the script. Okay, now we have to set the execution policy to bypass because we download the script from the internet. Before we can start the script, we have to mount the SharePoint installation files. I did it with the ISO and mounted it in Hyper-V as my D drive. You can see that's the basic SharePoint 2013 install files. Okay, but now let's start with the command. Auto SP source builder and you have various parameters. For us is the get pre prerequisites um, switch important. We use true and the rest is not important. <laughs> Okay, the script found the installation files and the prerequisites installer in my D drive. It's SharePoint 2013 and we can install or slipstream December 2012 cumulative update. Type it and now the script starts to copying the files. The default drive is, the default location is CSP 2013. And in there it's a SharePoint folder and that's the result but I show it later. Now we have to wait for the Robocopy but it is ready now and now it starts to download the prerequisites files. For SharePoint 2013 it's quite a lot so I will skip it until the cumulative update because of my internet connection is not very fast. Okay, as you can see a lot of files have been downloaded and currently the cumulative update is downloaded almost 50% after that the cumulative update is slipstream it's added to the installation file okay we are done it opens the folder for you and there is a text file stating what you have installed now it's SharePoint 2013 prerequisite software and the cumulative update and it's now 
all in one folder. And when you open the prerequisites installer files, you can see all the downloaded files and the installer can use them without internet connection. Very good when you have to set up multiple servers. That's it for now. If you have feedback, questions or tool suggestions, um, please drop us a line. Feedback is appreciated. Thanks for listening and see you soon.